ready. So from here to end, it'll be like 10 minutes. Is it dark? Do you do 10 minutes? That's a lot of video. You gotta, you gotta appease your Facebook. It's like that. It's like that. It's like that. Ladies and gentlemen, foodies in Southwest Florida, we are live at another restaurant, a local favorite, but also a sizzle favorite. We're in Campiello with chef, executive chef Mike Dalton in the beautiful downtown Naples. We are looking at some of the items on his three course menu and we're doing this, why? Restaurant week, it is up again. We have November 29th to December 12th, 55 of the best restaurants in Southwest Florida putting together three course menus for $26 and $36, and the best thing about it is we are dining with purpose. One dollar from every meal sold is going to our Sizzle Southwest Florida Food and Beverage Scholarship. My name is Rafael Feliciano, and if you've been watching us, you've been joining us, we've been eating all over the place, but this time we have Cam on the Cam, and we are in Camp Yellow. We are right before Dinner Rush, one of our Sizzle Restaurant Week favorites, the D'Amico Group. They have the Continental. They have... Campiello, D'Amico and Sons, and some other great restaurants in Minnesota. So right here, we have some items on the three-course menu. Oh, and before we even move to that, big thank you to our sponsor, Greg Norman at the Miramar Outlets. Thank you, Don, for all the great apparel. Uh, we want to give a special shout-out to Jason Marshall at SoShore United Uniforms and everyone that we work with, but Greg Norman especially, because it's also the Shark Shootout, which is this weekend. So if you haven't bought your tickets, make sure you get there and do that as well. Cam on the cam. He's going to show you some of our food. We're going to be sitting down with executive chef Mike Dalton, and we're going to be talking about food, fun, food, more fun, and now more food. More food. More food. Chef, how are you, man? Good, man. How are you doing? I feel that we have become pretty close in the last yeah, three years we've doing this. We've done this a couple times, this is... haven't we? <laughs> a couple hundred times. All right. So I'm going to ask the basic questions that everyone needs to know. Okay. Even though I think some people know it, Campiello, awesome restaurant, right here in the middle of uh, Third Street, right. Third Street, yep. Third Street South. Tell us about the Campiello if you don't know, or hear it from the horse's mouth. Hear it from you. Well, I always say this, you know, Campiello, there's, it's, it's for all diners. You know, I mean, if you want to come in here and have a five course truffle dinner, you can do that right now with our truffle menu. If you want to come oh, here, show them that five course yeah, truffle dinner. Yeah, our black and white truffle menu. We have a, a excellent menu here. Uh, that's that's a lot of fun actually for so us. So black truffles or white truffles? Both. No, no, so, no. I'm asking. Oh well, white of course. White truffles. You got to go white. white. Yeah, yeah. You got to go white. white. <laughs> yeah. Um, the the Would you other even thing, tell people what the difference really is in the black and the white truffles. There's there's a, a, a there's a difference. I mean, you have to really be into truffles and like truffles to know the difference. I, I think the black truffles are a little bit more approachable, the earthy flavor. Um, you know, the white truffles are a little bit more on the eccentric side. So okay. you know, it's, it's truffle season. So it is, and it, it, you know, I encourage people that don't know about truffles to come and learn about them. I mean, yeah, you know, you guys should do truffle classes. We should. We should. Katie, <laughs> Katie, Mike. Up there in the corporate level, what's up? <laughs> we'll right. see about that, Rafael. Yeah, we'll, we'll see, see we'll about see. that. I'll just throw stuff, more stuff on your plate. But on top of speaking of like the corporate level, Campiello is part of the D'Amico's group, which has other restaurants. So tell us about them. Yeah. Well, we have D'Amico & Sons um, over on Neapolitan. Um, great. great. They do a great job over there. Uh, Continental, of course, one of the best steakhouses in town. Great the, cocktails, the, too. The, the great cocktail program, great wine list. I mean, the place is awesome. Um, and then, you know, and then here we've got here and uh, a couple of restaurants up north as well that are, are fantastic. So, I mean, you know, we, uh, you know, we just like to 
cook good food. Can I tell you how proud I am of you, of how like good you're talking on camera? <laughs> Mike. Said, oh, let's talk trouble. <laughs> let's talk trouble. <laughs> let's talk trouble. So, Mike, Campiello, D'Amico Group, one of our favorites at Restaurant Week um, participants. Been around. They gave, We're one of the first people to give us a chance. So, you've done this with us. You, you are not shy. I'm, I'm not a this. stranger to Restaurant You're Week. not a stranger <laughs> to Restaurant Week. And did you... And at Campiello. So, yeah. Italian... Yeah, I mean, you know, we, and like I said, we were, I was saying, you know, we're... We're a restaurant for everybody. I mean, I think if you just want to have a pizza and a beer, you can come in here, have a pizza and a beer. We have a great, you know, five, six pizzas on the menu. Uh, we usually do a, a special pizza like we're doing with the truffle menu. Um, you've got the fusilli here that we, you know, with the shrimp, it's brand new. It's a uh, it's, uh, almond pesto um, oh, wait, with pistachio. Right yeah. All right, so we're getting you into got, the dishes. Yeah. We're getting into the dishes. I mean, we've got. So what the, is this here? That's a you know, golf shrimp, uh, fusilli with golf shrimp, and uh, um, the pesto. It's a. Pistachio almond pesto. Dude, so. pistachio yeah. almond pesto. It's great, and you can All get right. it without the shrimp, and you get without the cheese, and it can be a vegan dish. So it's great for it. Oh. You, can, you can go, you can go multiple ways. So, it's pretty delicious. And then we've got oh. the over there. We got the 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 chicken oh. liver, which you, if you're a vegan, you can't have that. Dude, the oh. pesto pasta is delicious. All right, that's pretty good, huh? Um, and then we have the yeah we have the the Tuscan chicken livers, uh, guanciale, a little bit of apricot mustard on there. Is it AKA the pate? It is pate, but it, it has it's a it's a very rustic pate. Rustic meaning, pate. Meaning there's big chunks of flavor in it. Dude, I love <laughs> That's it. the best way to describe it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hold on, we're gonna get into it. I think the favorite part about this is everyone gets to see what food really looks like. It's not like when you look at a picture of a McDonald's Big Mac, it's perfect all the time. <laughs> we get to really show people like, hey, if you eat it, this is what it's going to look like. Right. I'm just going to have some of the... So a little more rustic pate. Yep. I love pate. That's the first thing I said. I was like, oh, is that a pate? I'm having a hard time here. Oh, there it goes. The there yeah, you go. Yeah, baby. <laughs> just going to pull that real that thing in. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, that's good, man. I good love good flavor. Pate. On it. Good, good flavor on it. Yeah. Now, these are some of the items in your restaurant menu. Yep. What are some of the other ones not featured that are not that we don't have in front of us? We're gonna do a, a mushroom risotto. Or I'm sorry, a mushroom farotto, uh, which is a, a farro with uh, we made like in the style of a risotto. So, um, and that, that's gonna be served with a beef tenderloin that's pan seared. Okay. Um, we also have uh, a salmon with broti beans, which are cranberry beans. Awesome. Um, that'll be delicious. Uh, it's uh, that's actually on our menu right now. Um, I'm also going to serve an airline chicken breast with uh, some smashed fingerling potatoes and Sicilian pesto. Awesome. Yeah. So, awesome. and we've got uh, the. You guys always bring it for restaurant week. And then we got the cavatelli too, which is a crowd favorite. So we'll put that on there too. What is that? Uh, that's uh, the, the homemade uh, ricotta cavatelli uh, with uh, pork ragu. Mole se pork ragu. Ooh. Yeah. So. Yo, wait. You've had that for restaurant before. I've had. I've, I think I've done it maybe once for restaurant yeah, week. Yeah. Yeah. But, but it I, is my grandmother's recipe. So. Ooh. Yeah, this is a good one. Shout so. out to Grandma Dalton. Gr Grandma DiCello. DiCello. Oh, that's my Italian side. Ah, yeah. see, it's cool that you're actually Italian and you work at an Italian yeah. restaurant. Yeah. That's good enough. Yeah. If you're just tuning in, uh, we're at Camp Yellow, downtown Naples. We are celebrating the beginning of Restaurant Week. It's only a few weeks away, November 29th to December 12th. 55 of the best restaurants in Southwest Florida, putting together three-course menus for $26 and $36. We have awesome chefs like Executive Chef Mike Dalton, their other restaurants, D'Amico & Sons, The Continental, and we're doing it all for a good cause because when you dine during Restaurant Week, one dollar from every meal sold goes to our Sizzle Southwest Florida Food and Beverage Scholarship. Chef, before we get into the last dish, yeah. I want to ask. So here, we hear from restaurants all the time. Yeah. Which is the reason why we started the scholarship, that finding help is hard. Why? What is this such a well, shortage? I think there's not a lot of cooks, you know, that like there used to be. And I, there's probably a lot of different reasons for that. Um, but um, it's great that you guys are, are you know, you're helping out. And, and we need, yeah, we need good young people to be, get, be getting in our, in our field to, you know, culinary arts. Yeah, just get, we want to keep the local kids local. Yeah. It, it, the, we raised $20,000 in the last restaurant week, and we're hoping to at least raise that again. Right. And, and the whole purpose is, you know, let's help, the, let's, let's help the restaurants by getting staff, get them trained, and keep local kids local because that's really – Food and beverage is the heart and soul of all cities. Yeah, for sure. I agree. So, I agree. All right, Chef, what do you got for the next dish? Oh, well, we got our, our, on our menu our classic uh, butterscotch padino, um, you know, and, and it's uh, 
It's great. Everybody, this is a crowd favorite. Of everybody loves this. Uh, they cut, a lot of people come in for it. So, um, is this on your desserts? This is on our dessert menu right now, um, and you can also get it on Restaurant Week. Um, and also, um, Chef Amber has got about three or four more desserts too on Restaurant Week. They're great, and two of them are not on the menu. So. You get to come in and experience that. One, I'm sorry, one of them is not on the menu. One of so, them is not on the menu. No, no. She's doing the milk chocolate panna cotta for restaurant week, which is one of my, my favorites. So that'll be great. The budino will be great. And then she's also got a, a cannoli cheesecake as well. Oh, so, who doesn't love a cheesecake? Yeah, everybody loves cheesecake. Who doesn't love a cheesecake? So. All right. Well, Chef, listen. Hey, thanks a lot, Raphael. I know you guys are getting close to dinner. We're at that, like, yeah. 5 to 6 o'clock range. Thank you so much for doing all this. Yep. Ladies, gentlemen, foodies. Restaurant week. We're a couple weeks away. It's 14 days. Special thank you to Greg Norman uh, over there at Miramar Outlets. Also, Don, Miss Don Kurtz for all those the great sponsorship they have over there. Visit our website www.sizzlerestaurantweek.com. You get a list of all the restaurants, all the menus, some pictures of food, and information about our scholarship. My name is Rafael Feliciano. This is Executive Chef Mike Dalton, and we're out. Thanks so much.